Bois. So I'm gonna do a deep dive here on scams. And this is a, not all the scams, but this particular type of scam. So I'm holding in my hands a letter that was sent through the mail and it says that, and by the way, it's addressed to my girlfriend who's the trustee of my land trust. And basically what it says is, you transferred the deed to your property last year, which is true. And this is from the county records office and that I need to buy a copy, a certified copy of the deed and I can pay $100 plus a $98 service fee. So for $198, I can get a copy of my deed. First of all, you can get it yourself on the county website for $1.99, number one. Number two, you don't need it. It's not a thing you need. It's not a thing where like as a homeowner or as someone who transfers a deed, you need to have a certified copy on file. It's just not a thing. Number three, this is from County Records Office LLC. And then I look deeper, County Records Office LLC, PO Box, whatever, Tampa, Florida. Now, I wasn't born yesterday and I've been around the block a few times. And I can tell you that the state of Florida is run out of Tallahassee. It's not run out of Tampa. And the state of Florida doesn't do business through an LLC. They do business through the state of Florida, right? And so it's just wrong on three levels. And I wonder how many people fall for this. So here's what happens. Whenever a transaction happens, such as creating a new company, registering a trademark, transferring a property with a deed, all of these things leave a digital f uh, fingerprint. And so there are people whose job it is to sit there on the county website or the state website or the trademark website and literally just keep track of every new filing that goes through and there must be thousands a day. And then what they do is they put in a form letter this is probably all automated and the letter goes out and all they need is a few people to fall for the scam. Or how about one out of a hundred? If one out of a hundred fall for a scam where they're asking you for $198, but the cost is $1.99, they're making money. And so we have seen whenever you set up a new company, they'll say, you need to order a certified copy of your articles of organization, which by the way, no, you don't. First of all, second of all, you can get it for free online. And third of all, when you get the letter, oftentimes there'll be a very official looking seal. There might be an eagle in a circle, right? And it'll say corporate records co corporation. All of that is fake. It's meant to look official, especially it'll be out of state. It'll come from Arizona. Well, I'm in Florida. Why would the state of Florida be doing business with a company from Arizona? And the same for trademarks. So the moral of the story, is when you get the unsolicited official looking mail, just call me. It's pretty simple. I once had a lady who had, we had set up a company for her. We did an LLC and she had put down her home address as the principal address. And then she gets one of these letters in the mail and without calling me, she pays them. She gives them her credit card information. God knows where that's going. And then she calls me and says, Hey Eric, good news. I took care of the ordering a certified copy of my corporate records. And I was like, oh, Miriam, why'd you do that? She goes, oh, because I got the letter in the mail and I just took care of it. I didn't want to bother you. I'm like, Miriam, had you called me, which I wouldn't have charged you for, I would have saved you $199 because that's a scam. You just fell for a scam. So by not bothering me, you wasted $199 for something you don't need. So please, 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 everybody be on your guard. Do not just give out your credit card information and, and use your sixth sense. Look closely. If it says corporate records office LLC, why would the state be doing business as an LLC? It's just, you know, those are the red flags I look for and I hope that nobody falls for it. However, right over here in my office, I've got framed a series of Google Play cards because one of my employees once upon a time got a text message from a random phone number that said, hey, this is your boss, Eric, and I'm texting you because I don't have my phone, so I'm using somebody else's phone. Oh, and by the way, I can't be bothered, so you can't call me, but I need you to go to Walmart and order and get me $300 of Google Play cards. And if you could do me a favor and scratch off the number on the back and take pictures of each one and send it to me. And the person walked out of a meeting, they were in a meeting and they said, excuse me, uh, am I needed here? And the person was like, well, I guess not. And they got in their car and drove to Walmart and spent $300 on Google Play cards. And, and then they called me and they're like, Eric, did you really want Google Play cards? I'm like, why are you asking? Because I have no idea what's going on. And they're like, cause I got a text from you. And I'm like, mm, you fell for a scam. So guys, please. And this person was a really smart person going to an Ivy league law school. You gotta have common sense. 
So everyone, if you feel like you're getting scammed, just call me, leave a message below if you have other examples that I can talk about. And this is the one from Corporate Records Office LLC, and I didn't fall for it.